Welcome to The Passionate Pundits, your opportunity to expand your knowledge of natural health and healing, a practical and priceless alternative to modern Western medicine. With your host, holistic chiropractor Dr. Julia Deer, and nutritional consultant and life coach Deb St. Hilaire. Hey, boy, that ended like really fast. You can't, that's because your headphones are down. Hi. Hello. I didn't even know we were on. Yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. How we're on. You? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. It's been a, it's been an interesting couple of weeks with the weather changes around here in Michigan. You know, there's actually ice on the lake. Is there uh-huh. really? Yeah. Last year, it never came. No. Well, I think it, it was like lightly frozen for... I, maybe a week. Uh, there were never any ice fishermen past the shore. Really? Mm-hmm. And the hmm. year before that, I think it, the same. We didn't have a very tough winter. But the year before that, there were trucks parked out on the ice everywhere. And people driving on it all over the place. I think we're going to have that kind of year this year. I think that would be cool. We I need mean, it, really. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the people that like snowmobile and stuff like that, they've really, really been missing it the last couple of years. Right. And you know what's sad is when we have winters like we've had the last two years, the ski resorts don't like it. Yeah, the ski resorts, they don't, you know, they have to then go make their own or whatever it right. is. You know, they can't just... Uh, <gasps> oh, that scared me. I don't know why I went... <gasps> Her phone uh, fell. It was nothing. Yeah, it was nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, you know, I had an aunt and uncle that owned a ski resort in the Sierras. Oh, yeah? And we didn't have snow there for two years, I think, and they had to sell. Right. Really? Yeah. Well, see, and that's just it because they've got to get these expensive machines up there to make the snow right. if they don't have it. And, you know, you, small businessmen... Yeah, right. that'll put you under after a few seasons of that. That's right. So, and plus, people, if it's warm out, even though you would think, like I would think, I'm not a skier, obviously, but I would think, you know, hey, it's warm out. I want to go to the slopes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the skiers are like. And no. No. Because it turns to mush. Yeah, and I'm like thinking, well, that's going to be better for me because I'll be warmer. But I guess it doesn't matter. But you know what? Even in when it's really, really cold, if the sun is out and that reflection of the sun on it's the warm. snow, you get burned, too. Yeah. you. Oh, you can yes. get burned. You can get burned. That's, did you ever see people come home from skiing and it looks like they still have their goggles on? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny, I think. It is. I'm mean, though. I laugh at stuff way. like ha, that. Ha. <laughs> that's my nervous. Ha, ha. I don't, don't know if I should laugh at that or not. <laughs> Here's my nervous. Ha, ha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. No. Does that mean I wasn't being funny at that moment? It means that I didn't know if you meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair because I think a lot of people have that problem with me. They're like, is she for real? <laughs> what the world? Did she just say what I thought she just said? And did she mean it to be funny? Right? Or was she serious? Right. And sometimes I can carry that off for a while with a straight face. Yes, you can. You're very good at that. I like that. That's fun to me. <laughs> I, it is funny. I'm laughing on we, the inside. We have a neighbor like that, too, that he'll say something hilarious, but he won't. He'll have a straight face. And, and, and you're like, real. Did he I, mean mm, that to be funny? Is that a. <laughs> <laughs> or is it a. <laughs> right. Nervous laugh. Well, that kind of like, that's a good lead in for me, though, because uh, uh, I wanted to talk about. Uh, water that's like that's going to be my topic today and snow is part of that snow and ice and water and and all of that so you know water it's a necessity of life that's a super important part and component to our well-being i think a lot of people leave that part out which i don't even understand like you know, I watch survivor or not not even survivor naked and afraid i love that one naked oh I itch when I watch that. Yeah, me too. They get so Isn't many fights. They get stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. It's hard on a person, but when you think about it, but what is, you know, the main things they have to find, they have to do fire. They have to cuz they have to have warmth. They have to have shelter and they have to find water. And then in the next couple of days they have to find food. And that's the order they have to do these things in in order to survive. And if they don't, we see them 
not do oh, so well. Oh, bad. Some of them, yeah. oh. Some of them are like, you know what? I think we can do without a fire for the first couple of days. Isn't this nice? Look at this. This is beautiful here. It's like 80 degrees. And then it's 30 at uh, night <laughs> and raining. Yeah, or a big storm <laughs> comes. That's right. Like, I don't need a shelter this first night. I'm just going to, I'm just going to. Sleep under the stars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go rustic on this one. <laughs> you you know are what? rustic. You're in a forest. Is there, <laughs> I, a f- forest. <laughs> you know what shocks me sometimes? What? The, are the the man, big burly man, will tap out before a, a little lady. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen I've seen women go through to the bitter end by themselves. Right. And you know what, though, I think I almost would prefer that. Like if I had a schmutzy, like yeah, that wasn't pulling yeah, his weight. Yeah, right. I'd be like, you know what, get on, get on with yourself. I'm good. <laughs> I got this. And they keep wanting to talk and. <laughs> Have feelings and discussions. <laughs> Tell me why I'm such a jerk. <laughs> Forget them. I don't need them. I can do this on my own. <laughs> I'd rather talk to the ants I'm eating. Yes. <laughs> yes. They have good conversation, I hear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I think I could go, and, and I actually would like to try that. That's an experiment I would love to try, to go like 21 days without speaking to anybody no communication. See, I can't do that. I don't know how I could do it, but I would like to try to pull it off. Someday. You would have to have a tablet with you at all times. Uh, what? You and I can start today. Oh, Patrick's like, ah. he's up for the challenge. <laughs> Him and I can start today. He's now see. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Got a little TV going on over there. I've got my son with me today. I see him there. Yeah, my oldest son, John Patrick. He's uh, fresh back from California. And uh, California has its own water water issues. Oh, and fire. Yeah, absolutely. It's got God two of the them. elements bad against them right now. I kind of wish it'd rain all the That's time. That's what I'm praying. It would rain there. Yeah. They need it to rain really bad. Let's all bow our head in prayer for a moment. Let's do that. God bless them. Yes. In Santa Barbara, I lived in Ventura County for quite a while, Mm -hmm. and they're all evacuating. Yeah, it's scary stuff. When I lived out there, because I lived in uh, the southern part by Pasadena, and we uh, were right at the foot of the San San Gabriel Valley Mountains. Right. San Gabriel Mountains. And there, that's what burning, you can see it from L.A., burning. Yeah, and I remember the two years I was there, the forest fires threatened us. They came close within miles. Um, The last year I was there at that address, they came within a mile of us. And my, oh, uh, within I a know, mile? I know, and my roommate at the time, he took off up the hill. He went running up the hill, and I'm like, where are you going? You know, like, what are you thinking? He's running up towards the fire. He's like, there's a lot of people up there that need help. I'm like, oh, my gosh. How brave. So when he came back, he was telling me stories. He, you know, jumped up on people's roofs because there was older people. They're trying to, what they try to do is they try to keep their roof wet. Wet, right. So that if a spark or an ember, ember comes and lands, it just fizzles out. Um, so there's a lot of older people up there in those homes. So he would, you know, just jumped up on their roofs for them, grab their hoses wow. and did it for them so they wouldn't have to be up there. How nice. Well, yeah. Um, you know, he was kind of, kind of a self selfless fellow in some ways, which was good. But, um, I was scared. I was like, what are you thinking? I didn't run up and do it. I, I just don't have that gumption. Yeah. I don't, I'm st- too fearful. I don't know that Fires I Fires are one of my it. big fears. If actually. someone was yelling help, I would help them. Yes, I would have to help them. But fires are one of my biggest fears. Always have been since I was a little girl. They're I don't, too hot. I don't know why. I like them. I'm not, like, I'm not scared of a bonfire right. or anything. But I, if a fire gets out of control, it scares me, you know, because yes. it's powerful. Yes. It's super powerful. Yes. All so, forces of nature are powerful. That's right. Again, back to the water. Back to the water. Very mm-hmm. powerful. Very powerful. Look at tsunamis. Mm-hmm. Tsunamis, they take out whole islands, whole, whole cultures. Um, yeah, water. Wow. We got the flooding. Got lots of flooding this year. Lots. I feel like I have sort of this thing with water. Like every place I've ever rented is always, a, there's always water issues. Like, hmm. Patrick pointed this out to me after a while. Uh, you know, we've been together, like, almost 25 years. So uh, we've been through a couple different places, rental-wise, and through the businesses or home. 
And every one, we seem to have some plumbing issue that just comes out of the blue. Just some weird, random, and then they just keep happening. Like, I just keep having, it's always related to water. Always water issues. It's a weird thing. Maybe it's, maybe it's like, um, associated with me. I don't know. I never thought of that before. Electricity could be associated with people. Why not water and plumbing? Right. And that's interesting. It is interesting. You're a PVC person. You, you do <laughs> weird things to PVC. <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> that's very yeah. interesting. It is, and water is super important. And I'm very respectful of water. Um, like I love water. When I was a uh, when I was a kid, see, I never learned how to swim until I was older. But I still love the water. So I would go to the lake and I would crawl around in the lake and, you know, pretend swim on my hands. Right. And, you know, all that stuff when I was a little kid. And then my mom took me to the Y and I was like the only kid that had boobs in my like <laughs> beginner's <laughs> swim class, you know, but I but I learned. That's right. You know, and I, I got through it. And now I love the water. I go swim a lot. I swim at the Bay City Dow YMCA. Do you? Downtown, yeah. Good. I'll get up in like 6.30 in the morning. I'll go over there and swim for half an hour, 45 minutes. Oh, good. It's really nice. It's really nice over there. They have um, they have a lap pool. Then they have a regular pool. They have a lazy river. And they have a water slide. Nice. And the water slide's not open all the time, but it's open Tuesdays and I think Sundays. And then special special events in the year and stuff, they'll have it open. Uh which is really nice for kids, you know. Yes. And um, especially so, in the winter. Exactly, because that's when you know they don't have anything to do, and the water is is just so comforting. I don't know. For me, it just reminds me of being at a tropical place right. or a beach right. or whatever. Even when it's winter out, I still love to be in a hot tub, you know, yeah. out in the cold air. Like when we used to live in California, I lived in another place called Azusa, which was everything from A to Z in the USA. <laughs> That's where they got the name from. Was, I love that. It is. It was cute. It was a little mountain town. And um, the condos that I lived in had a huge hot tub. Mm. And in the coldest of the colds, because even in California, it gets cold. Right. There's snowing in the mountains. <laughs> Excuse me. I would get in that hot tub and I would so. And would you be all steamy? Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. That's we had awesome. a, in a house that I lived in for quite a while, we had a, a pool and a hot tub in the back. And it was a nice sized hot tub. And we used to get all steamy and then dive in the pool. And it was in the Sierra Foothills. So it would oh, get nice. kind of cold there. Yeah. And, and it's so I nice. I love that, to look at yourself and you'd be all steamy. Yeah, I like that too. Isn't that a weird thing to like? Uh-huh. <laughs> look, I'm on fire. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that comes from, but that's I funny. just think it's fun. Yeah. And you know, we're 70% water. We are. And that is where the health concept part of it comes in. Because we need water inside our cells and we need water in our bloodstream. And we need, we're two-thirds water. So we conduct our electrical nerve impulses that way. People don't realize that. But if we don't have enough water in our body, we literally cannot conduct our electrical nerve impulses in a in a easy, you know, good moving kind of fluidity way. Instead, it kind of stops short and fizzles out, which can cause weird muscle contractions and you know that's why dehydration causes muscle spasms and things like that right i never even thought of that it needs water Mm. to conduct it yes and if you got a dried up tissue your tissue's dry you're not going to conduct that that's the best kind of tissue to blow your nose in though a dry tissue yes yeah see (laughs) see more winter references i love that Ooh wee with the kleenex but you know what? It's um, it's a good thing, and you have to replenish water. Where are you going to get it from? Like, this is what I wonder. Okay, that's where uh, I went to Naked and Afraid. Because I see Naked and Afraid, right? they got to have water within, like, what, three, four days? What is it, guys? Five days? Or they're in deep trouble? Something like that? You want me to look it up? Yeah, I think it's three to four I'm gonna days. I'm going to ask how long we can go without water. Yeah, it's not very long. And I have people Seven come in. Days. Seven days. Somebody looked it up. Wow, I wouldn't even think you could go. That you'd be in pain probably before that. Oh though, yes, huh? they get you very, would die and they have had that days. happen yes. on naked and afraid, and they get very bad muscle spasms, right. and cramps, and okay. So let's look at that for a minute. 